Welcome back. We entered this past weekend with 16 teams still having a chance to make the state boys hockey tournament in North Dakota. And that led to some great drama and great emotion on the ice. So here to share those moments with us is Jody Norstead. And Jody, we had some upsets. Let's hear about them. Yeah, we did. Out West, you have to be excited for a team like Dickinson that was outscored 17-3 to in the regular season by Minot. And the Midgets beat the Magi 6-1 to advance to state. Meanwhile, in the East, Grafton Park River. How about this? They lost 13 of their last 14 games heading into the loser out game with South Shanley. They win that one 3-0. And then that sets up a showdown with North in this state qualifier on Saturday. Five minutes into the game, and it's a bit of puck luck for the spoilers. Matthew Suda skates in all the way, centers the puck, but it bounces off a defender's skate, and it's a 1-0 lead. Still in the first, it's the Spartans with the answer. Chandler Ibach shoots, Mike Hallquist cleans up the rebound, knots the game at one all heading into the second. North goalie Riley Platson was named to the all-tournament team. He was great in this one, but makes a save here, but then Will Magnuson's shot trickles past him. The spoilers go on to win it 4-2, advancing to state for the first time in five years. There's no words for this. I mean, it's unreal. You see, we got the crazy crowd here. And, you know, they just brought us life. You know, we were on that downhill slope, and they started this. It's indescribable. It's something that we've always been dreaming of as kids. They're crazy. They're going to be 10 times better next week. That's right, huh? Next weekend. Let's go. Even better. They'll be even better. We can't wait. Oh, man. I love that emotion. The second qualifier on the day pitted Devil's Lake against Red River. The Rough Riders fresh off being upset by Davies in the semis. First period, all about goaltending. Regan Rule kept the Firebirds in it as long as he could. At 32 saves, he made the all-tournament team scoreless in the second when Dave Montgomery snipes it past him, giving Red River a one-goal lead. Yes, the traditional bleach blonde hair is back for Red River. So are the goals. Montgomery on the rebound this time makes it four zip. That's the final. The Riders are heading back to state. We just had to play more of a team game than last night. Obviously, I had to come out and make a, have a better start. We came out, played well. It's a lot of guys that have never done it before, you know what I mean? So it, it's brand new every single time that you do it. It's, just, it's fun and thrilling to you know, make it and see the guys be excited and happy. So it means a lot. Now that left these two to decide the top two seeds from the East. Central beat Davies twice in the regular season. 1-0 shootout in Fargo, 5-0 at home. This one felt a whole lot like that first game. Central goalie Caleb Johnson was phenomenal. And Davies, Jared Winter, matched him save for save for much of the night. Check him out here, making the initial save and then sprawling to get the second one, keeping it at zero's winter. Certainly gives the Eagles a shot to pull off something special this week. But late in the second period, we get the only goal of the game. Hunter Bjorgi one times it from the blue line. What a shot. Winter didn't even see it. His counterpart, Johnson, does the rest. He didn't allow a goal the entire tournament, and he's ready to do it again at stake. I know we're all very happy with this, but we're also not satisfied at the same time. We got a big tournament coming up with State, so we're just focusing on that right now. This was one of the goals that they wanted to fulfill, and, and you know, they had to earn it against a good Davies team. I mean, that was some superb goaltending and some superb uh, play all around. You know, the other thing he does really well is communicate with RD, and he handles the puck back there. So, you know, it takes a lot of pressure off us in our own zone. Now out west, Bismarck and Century clash for the top seed. Patriots senior forward Isaiah Thomas. You've seen the other Isaiah Thomas get hot on a basketball court. This Isaiah Thomas did the same, but on a hockey rink. He scored four goals in the semifinal win over Jamestown and then scored all four of Century's goals in this 4-2 win over Bismarck to win the WDA championship. Have a night, Mr. Thomas. Here's a look at the state tournament bracket. Century and Thomas, they'll open up with Cinderella, Grafton Park River. Jamestown's first trip to state since 2013 will be greeted by a good Davies team. Defending state champ Central draws Dickinson and Bismarck will meet Red River in what expects to be the most highly anticipated game of opening day. Kelly will preview both the boys and girls tournaments over the next few days. Should be a fun weekend in Grand Forks. It all starts Thursday, wraps up on Saturday. Back to you. All right, thank you so much. Good stuff, Jody. Next on the show, Jason Andera will showcase three upsets in boys' double-A hoops and give us the newest rankings. Stay right here.